Good morning. All of you. Perfect. All right. <clears throat> Hello, Josue, Vanessa, Isaac. Welcome this morning. How you doing? Hi, hi there. Good morning to all. Good morning. Carla, hello. If you could uh, turn your computer, your computer, your uh, camera on, that will be cool. Of course, you have your computer on, right? <laughs> Hi, good morning. Hello. hello. How's everything good? Perfect, mm -hmm. perfect. Vanessa, welcome to our group, to our class, new face. Thank you. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. Tell us where you're from. I'm from Mexico City. Mexico City, nice. Yes. Tell us about your um, your uh, where do you learn your English? Sorry, I can hear you. Yeah, where where did you learn your English? Oh, in the school, Harmon Hall. Oh, Harmon Hall, cool. Yes. Nice. Okay, cool. So in the competencia, gracias, muy amable, bye. <laughs> <laughs> nah, just kidding. So, um, very good. So we, we're going to uh, continue for last week's class. Uh, the topic is how to present grammar, right? Remember that? And well, not you, Vanessa, because you weren't here. And I don't think Carla was here too either. No, verdad? Porque es más importante otras cosas que mi clase, gracias. <laughs> so you, you were okay? You were okay? No. Carla? Or you were sick? Sorry? No. Sorry? You were sick? No, no. I have another thing to do. But okay, okay. <laughs> all right, all right. No problem. So we said that last week that before presenting any grammar, which is important to, to know, which is important to, to, uh, to know that we as a teachers, we will present grammar. It doesn't matter what type of English we're teaching, right? Uh, there are always going to be one grammar uh, part that you need to present. Before going into the classroom, we needed to do what? Even, even before preparing for the class, we need to do what? Remember that, Josue? Yeah, we need to understand that first. We need to understand, it doesn't matter what type of, uh, of, um, or what grammar tense was, maybe it's present simple. You might have some present simple, see, but first understand it, right? And then we had this. Um, oh, wait, there you go. Remember the analysis? We needed to do this chart. Remember that? We needed to do this chart in order to um, do our class. Before preparing our class, before everything, you need to understand it. So you're going to bring uh, a chart and complete it, right? Gabby? Thanks, teacher. I make my homework. And oh, you did I, your homework. Uh, uh, you told me about Reported speech. Yes. And yes. I sent it to you by uh, WhatsApp. Send it to me and then we'll, we'll check it out. Okay, thanks. No problem. So thank you, Gabby, for doing it. It was only you and who else, Jessica, I believe. Uh, or Isaac, I don't know. Anyways, uh, 
but before moving on, we, we said that we needed to complete this chart before preparing, right? So now, once we have, once we have the chart or the analysis completed, then move on into preparing the class. Okay, so far so good? Okay, I know maybe Vanessa and Carla are kind of, are kind of um, lost because uh, you missed last week, but no worries. It's, it's part of the, the, the show, okay? Worries not, como dicen los británicos. So after we have analyzed the grammar structure, we start preparing the, uh, the presentation of the grammar. Okay, now, remember that in the lesson plan, we have four stages. I don't know if you remember that, or, or uh, we have the warm up, the vocabulary, the main presentation in the conclusion or the wrap up, right? The grammar presentation is going to be in the main presentation. So it should be like 20 minutes long. I repeat, you're going to introduce your class with a, an activity or whatever. Then you do a vocabulary. Uh, you know, you present new vocabulary. And then in the main presentation, you are going to present um, the grammar that you analyzed. So it's like a, a small class within the class. See my point? A small class with in or inside the, the big class. It's only 20 minutes. And this makes sense because what happens, Carla, if you have a group of one hour and you do only grammar, what happened to your class? Only grammar activities. Mm, they maybe get bored? Yes, they will be bored. They will be, uh, your class will be chaos and your class is ruined. So grammar is only going to be 20 minutes of your one hour class. Okay? So we're going to follow these stages. Isaac, this is you in the future. I promise that <laughs> some point in your life, you will be like that. Okay, so um, we're going to start with a simple, remember the 20 minute presentation is going to start with a super simple warm up. Okay, uh, can you read this, Carla? Yes, uh, a warm up about the communicate, communicative function Concept, no warm up for the class. Example, if your point in present perfect, you may use hobbies and habits. When are they going to use it in life? Okay, I, I have a, a typo, uh, um, um, a mistake. If your point is, sorry, change that. No, it's not in, it's, it's if your point is present perfect, you may use hobbies and habits. Okay, so you're going to introduce with an activity that is related to the function or to the concept. Remember that uh, last week we discussed that a concept, it's the when and the how our students will use the grammar. No? I, I gave you the example of how much, how many. Don't be the kool teacher that walks into the classroom, escribe dos columnas, este, how much, how many, copy in your notebook. Contable or no contable. Don't do that, right? Uh, be the teacher that walks into the classroom and he has a concept. Let's go to the market. Let's buy our groceries and divide the groceries and how much and how many. See the difference? So in present perfect, don't be the colleague teacher that walks into the classroom. A ver, chavos, 
Esto es present perfect. Eh, write the sentences, copy in the notebook y agreguen 10 oraciones más. Don't do that, right? I, 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 um, I have seen teachers even worse than that. They walk into the classroom and they say, they, they write in the, in the notebook, um, in the whiteboard or, or, or in Zoom, no? or whatever it is. Present perfect. Y no se voltean y dicen, do you know what present perfect is? Don't ever do that, teachers, okay? That is, that is uh, humiliating because the students don't know. <laughs> Obviously, they don't know. They're students, right? So anyways, uh, um, so I'll give you an example. In the warm up, if your point is present perfect, you may, maybe use hobbies and habits. I'll give you an example. Excuse me, uh, Vanessa, tell me, tell me, a, a good habit or yours? Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, about <laughs> habit? <laughs> um, always I wake up late. Okay, that's that's a good habit. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, go, go, wake up late. Yes. When when did you start waking up late, Vanessa? Uh, sorry? When did you start? When was the first time you woke up late? Five years ago, 10 years ago, all your life? Uh -huh. <laughs> well, actually, yesterday. Just what? Yesterday. Yesterday. No, no, but when was the first time? The first time? Well, I don't know. <laughs> say 10 years ago? um maybe yes maybe okay 10 years ago so everybody knows that vanessa woke up late 10 years ago now vanessa you continue doing that right yes it's a bad habit okay so then vanessa has woken up late since 10 years ago ¿Ya vieron cómo se empata hobbies and habits with present perfect? And that's the point. You can even go. Let me see if I can do it here. Hola, mamá. ¿Qué es usted? Excuse me, puk. But my puk is so fat de que no puede brincar a los sillones. So uh, let, me, let me see if I have uh, here. You can even go like this. Can you see my, my drawings? Okay, so... This is called, with good imagination, a beautiful timeline. And this is called Vanessa. Yes? Aquí nació. How old are you? You can't importa, pero pues. 25. You're 25. Yes? So this is timeline Vanessa. So she started here, walking up late, yes? And she continues, correct? Till today, yes or no? Okay, so Vanessa. Really? Has, okay? Walking up, thank you, Josue. Walking, bueno, con, con imaginación es una N. Walking up late. See, ¿Sí? if you present this to your students, will your students understand the, the, the usage of present perfect? Yes, will it be better than just writing sentences? Of course, it's much better, right? So now we understand, can I erase this? Yes. Okay, so 
That's why it's very important in the warm up have a concept, a topic, uh, um, something practical to use in the in the in the grammar text. Okay, shouldn't be less than five minutes. Um, and for example, remember the last week the, the example was was present continuous. And um, example, my 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 warm up was eliciting favorite places for vacation. No, and then I move out to the vocabulary. Can you read this, Esteban? Este, yes, Vanessa. Sure. Um, a specific vocabulary for the concept or language content you are present. Very good. A specific vocabulary. Why is this important? Remember last week in the chart, there was a column that he said possible problems, remember? And what was the possible problem number one? Lack of vocabulary, always. Always is problem number one. Lack of vocabulary. Por qué? Because there are students. <laughs> And if you don't do this, if you don't give them the tools, if you don't give them the vocabulary needed, llega el clásico, Miss. ¿Cómo se dice? Miss. ¿Y ahora cómo aquí? Miss, ¿cómo digo? Etc., etc., etc. So, give them the tools, give them vocabulary. So, you're going to give them vocabulary specific for the task that yeah, you, you're having, right? Uh, according to the best teachers, this vocabulary, anyways, this should be a reinforce of a vocabulary previously learned. It, should, it shouldn't be more than new, no more than new for new words. This, this, this makes sense. Cuando es mucho, cuando son más de siete, your brain doesn't register. They say it's too much. If it's less than four, your brain doesn't register either. They think that it's so little that it's not important. So four, five, it's it's the, the average. So for example, in my case, because I'm doing present continuous, uh, I want to do a an activity about vacations on the beach, remember? So my verb, my vocabulary is recycling verbs, jumping, swimming, eating, blah, 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 okay? And then we go into the main presentation. Can you read this, Josue? Here you are presenting the grammatical structure. Remember, are there enough examples? What kind of drills should I use? Present sentence. Very good, so in this part, you do the timeline, you do the sentence, you do everything to understand. Well, no, the timeline it wasn't the warm up. But here, you do you write the sentence. And it has to be with enough, with enough examples. And the drills. Okay, what are drills? Do you know what drill is? Drill is a synonym for activity. And I'm gonna give you, we're going to refer to D1, D2, D3. Sale? D1, we're going to have, we're going to use it as Mechanical, you tell me to explain this one. Mechanical. Deal two is semi. We use the best text. Mechanical. And three three L is critical thinking. So this is mechanical, D1, semi-mechanical, and critical thinking. 
always in our life, in order to remember something or to learn something, in order to remember something, you need to repeat, then repeat, 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 and then practice, and then practice more. That is D1, D2, D3. Yes, I'll give you an example. We're talking about, oh wait, no, doesn't say yes. This is a whiteboard and this is the monito. Monito stands for the subject. What are the subjects? The Isaac. The subjects. See the pronouns. I. I am. Um, I no, you. Only the pronouns. She, I you. I you she he. Uh, he they, we. Very good. So all this monito represents the uh, the subject, and you can play with your students. Okay, monito, and then they know that is subjects, and then. Um, have, has, right? Please. Then birth, in que, pas que, Josué. Perfect. Pas per, thank you, este, bueno, sería participle, pero es okay. Per, perfect. Uh, and then the complement, no? Bueno, yo, yo, lo pongo, yo lo pongo así, mire. Uh, espera. Yo le pongo así. Este, since o el for, no? Ya, yeah, ahí está. ¿Sale? Ahí está. Este, this, is, this is what you present, no? You present the grammar structure. Luego te vas con mechanical drill, semi-mechanical, and critical thinking. I'll give you an example. You have this written in your board, and then you say, we, we, I asked Vanessa, right? I, excuse me, Vanessa. And then she walks out. She likes to wake up late, right? So Vanessa's half has. Has, and then walking up late since 10 years ago. Yes? Vanessa has walked up late since 10 years ago. Then uh, my mechanical drill is repetition. Since. See? So, Josue, can you read this? Repetition. Vanessa has woken up late since 10 years ago. Very good. Sí, obviamente, oh, este... Oh, yeah, me... muchas gracias. ¿Está tibia? Mm -hmm. No. Déjame mm. silenciarte, este, Gaby. ¿O se puede silenciarte, Gaby? Yes, okay. Um, Vanessa has woken up, okay. That's, uh, that's the uh, mechanical. Mechanical drill, they don't think. They just repeat, okay? Semi-mechanical, they start thinking a little bit. I'll give you another example. So, Josue. Tell me a, a good habit of yours. I, I like to read uh, in the morning. Very good. When was the first time you started reading in the morning? Long time ago. I don't remember. I think like Many years ago. Okay. So Josue, half or has? Has. Has. has read. 
a book in the morning uh, since 20 years ago. This is mechanical, right? But then I ask Isaac, can you ask, let me see who's here. Carla, you here talk? Este, can you ask uh, Gabby about a good habit? Mm, yes, like with the, the structure or just? Okay, no. <laughs> uh, Carla, you're here. Okay, no, Isaac, I, Isaac, ask Carla. Okay, you have some habit that you, um, Carla, you have uh, some habit that you has been doing, maybe? No, just make your it life? simple like that. Remember, you're a student. Very simple. Carla, do you have a good habit? Okay. Yes, I like to work out um, every day. Okay, so when was the first time? Uh, Isaac, ask, ask her. When was the first time you blah, 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 blah? Okay. What was your habit? Work out, doing exercise. Uh, <laughs> um, Carla. Um, when was? When was the first time that you made uh, exercise? Um, like four years ago, I started doing exercise. Very good. So Isaac, complete the sentence. Carla, half of us. Carla has uh, um, Carla has done, I think, exercise. No? Uh, well, in, 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 um, in English, it's workout. Workout, okay. Work. Workout. Workout since? Since four years ago. Very good. See, now this is semi-mechanical. Isaac had to think in the development of the sentence. See the difference? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, then you move to the next drill, which is the critical thinking. Critical thinking is when you apply in your life. Example, Carla, tell me your BFF, your best friend forever. The name? Yes. Uh, Geraldine. So Geraldine, um, and she, a good habit or bad habit? Mm, good habit. Okay, so tell me, tell me her good habit. She likes to eat healthy. Okay, so Geraldine, half or has? Has eaten. Very good. Healthy. Very good. Healthy. Huh? Since, um, I don't know, four years ago, too. Very good. Very good. Excellent. See my point? Carla, in critical thinking, had to think about Geraldine. And now she's applying the grammar into, their, into her life. Obviously, you guys are prodigious. You guys are English teachers, so it's easier. In a normal group, you will have maybe four or five examples of each drill. Right? This is a 10 minute or 15 minute presentation because you need more examples to practice. But you see the sequence? The first one, I did it, you should repeat it. The second one, I model. And then Isaac asks Carla, and then Isaac composed the sentence. And then the third drill, in the last sequence, Carla thought about her friend and uh, used her friend to talk about. 
Okay, so far so good? All right. Yes, Gabby. Thanks, teacher. I have a question. Good, uh, I have uh, many. You just have one, actually. Uh, in English, I respected with the names or surnames. Sorry, I, 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 I followed, I, I, what? <laughs> Can you repeat the question? In English, I respected with the names or surnames. You mean by talking to somebody? I, I'm thinking about acentos, teacher. Oh, the, the acento, we don't have acentos in English. Eh, mm. Excuse me, I told you in a, a wrong correct, a wrong, a wrong form. The accents with the names or some names are respected in English? No. For example, no, in we Spanish? Don't have, we, don't have, we don't have tildes in, in English. Ah, okay. That's all. Uh, Thanks, actually, teacher. Josue, Josue in English would be Joshua, pero en, en inglés, los idiomas, se respeta el nombre. Ah, ok, ok. Por ejemplo, Giovanna es Juana en italiano. Pero no le vas a decir Juana porque se va a enojar, ¿verdad? Ok. No, es mi pregunta Juana. es, por ejemplo, Josué en español lleva, lleva un acento. Ah, sí, Entonces, no, en inglés no lleva. Ah, ok. Esa era la pregunta. Gracias, maestro, se lo agradezco. Lo, lo puedes poner, no, no hay problema, pero no tiene acento ni nada. O sea, no tiene significado. Josué. Yeah. Yes, you're talking about this, uh, uh, the class. Mm -hmm. I remember you said before that we have to use about 20 minutes for uh, grammar uh, presentation. But, yes. And that is included here in this main presentation. Yes. But as far as, uh, well, if I understand this, the main presentation should be 15 minutes. So uh, how, how can I... Uh, teach grammar during 20 minutes if my main presentation should only be in 15 minutes. I, I don't know if you, I understood well. Yes, it, it's, a, it's a valid question. I, I have here the, the minutes. Warm up, four minutes. Luego, three minutes. Yes. That's seven minutes. Luego, the main presentation is uh, 15 minutes. Okay. And then, well, I'm going to pass it to 20. <laughs> but anyways, it could be 20 to 25 minutes. I mean, it's no, okay. no rule. But, but no te vayas toda la clase. That's the point. If, if it's a whole class, like Carla said, it's going to be boring. And it's counterproductive because if it's boring, the students will not learn. Yeah, okay. Thank you. No problem. So, and here is what I told you, the drills, mechanical drills, semi-mechanical and critical thinking. Mechanical drills, like we said, students don't, talk, don't think. So it's group, group repetition, fill in the blanks, queuing, written exercises, something that they don't think. It's very, it's something very easy. Then semi-mechanical drills is complete the sentences, um, on the scrabble the words, choose the correct word, send a postcard, something that is not as easy, but not really hard. And then critical thinking is what they think. Tell me your name and your words. Tell me your best friend. Tell me your mama, your papa, your your family, your siblings, blah, 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 blah. Something that they relate the grammar in their lives. Okay? And always have pair work and group work. Very good. And finally, we have the consolidation, which is a game or a communicative activity. Could be a game, a role play, a dialogue, a debate, an interview, or what have you. So far, so good? 
Morgana. So I give an example. It's um, present perfect. You're talking about hobbies and habits. So I'll give you this example. No? Pair work, Vanessa and Carla, you're going to talk about the um, good habits in your school. And opposite Carmel Hall, we uh, have played uh, with the flashcards a lot. Este, y Carla es, ¿tú estás en la, en la universidad, ¿verdad, Carla? Mm, well, ya, ya terminé. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. So, Carla says, I, in the gym, in the gym, I always, I have seen the cute guys mm -hmm. in front of me, <laughs> and so forth. Y ya, you finish the presentation. Okay, something like this. All right, now. Yes. Okay, now, so we are going to transform the analysis from last week into the, into the main presentation following these stages. I know Josue has it, right? You have, you have your analysis? Uh, Jessica is sick, but I said you don't. You have your analysis from last week. I'm sorry, but my all this week was too mad, so I I, I didn't. I couldn't do the work on work. I'm sorry. Está bien. Tu otra escuela es más importante que yo. No pasa nada. Bien víctima. Okay, so um, Gabby, you have your your analysis from last week. Yes, of course, teacher. I am send, sending you in this moment. Just a minute, please, because I am I am learning how to to handle the computer. Ah, okay, that's okay. Um, in okay, a minute, so... I send you, you. Sorry. In a minute, I send you. I send it to you. Okay, very good. Okay, so maybe uh, so Josué. Vanessa and Carla together. So Josue, you, can you share your analysis with them? So you can work together. And, um, and Gabby, Jessica, and Isaac together, okay. Now, it's very important that you are going to, uh, Josue and Gabby and uh, the rest, it's very important that you transform your analysis into the main presentation. Use PowerPoint, use uh, flashcards, use uh, all the resources that you want in order to do the presentation. Then you're going to present it, okay? And I'm having some students from my, um, from my um, school, Come in here at 12 to listen to you. Okay? Good. Very good. Do you want to take a picture break before starting working? All right. So it's uh, 12, 45, 47. Uh, meet you here at 11. And we divide the class. All right.
Ready, guys? I'm here to. Very good. Sorry, it was. Uh, I. Uh, I'm becoming fan of TikTok. I'm sorry. Uh, my my daughter says that she doesn't like my TikToks because it's only dogs. I'm following only dogs for TikToks. Anyways, uh, so um, now the activity is that you're going to work in teams to make up to make the main presentation. Okay, you will have twenty minutes to prepare your presentation. Remember, PowerPoint, flashcards, uh, well, you know, flashcards, images. You, you can go to same Google and uh, download as many as images as you can, right? As you wish, actually. And um, so it says Josue, Vanessa, and Carla. Mm, yeah. And then Gabi and I said, okay. Let me open the the rooms. So everybody can share a screen too, okay? Um, sorry, Herson. We will work with the um, third condition that I had yesterday, the last yes. week. Okay. Yes, exactly. So make it easy for you.
Ok, ahí está. Creo que ya, creo que ya estás asignado, ¿eh? Nada más cuestión de que te metas. Uh, no, es que ya, sí estaba, pero el internet de Gaby se trabó, entonces me salí. Ah, no, pero ya, o sea, sí, pero a ver, si le apachurras y aparece ahí, este... Sí, ya, ya estaba en la sala, ya estaba yo en la sala, pero, pero ya no está, creo que ya no está ella. Ah, no, sí, ya regresó. Ah, bueno, entonces sí. ya, ya me vuelvo ahí. Sí. Uh, ¿Me podría repetir la, la tarea para tenerla otra vez fresca y poder, porque luego a veces nos confundimos y pues... Sí, es este... Hacer tu análisis. ¿Qué, ¿Qué tema te tocó hablar la semana pasada? Eh, tenía anotado en una libreta, pero Gaby lo tiene en, okay. en su tarea. Hacer, hacer el análisis de ese tema y mandármelo. Ok. Uh -huh. Con lo que acabamos de aprender. Exactamente. Ok.